Here's a video that was inspired by a question from an email. The individual wanted to know how they could make a stronger shed foundation to support a snow load. So this would be 40 pounds per square foot basically for a floor and 100 pounds per square foot for the roof. And this could put a lot of weight on the foundation. So you're really only going to have a couple of choices if you're not going to use a solid foundation. So you could actually just use a solid foundation here all the way around or just pour a concrete slab for that matter. Or if you're going to use beams and footings, then um, you might need to install larger beams or um, even more uh, footings that are going to be wider or even more of them. So hopefully it'll make sense by the time we finish the video. So this is the first method. We got a 4 by 8 and a 2 by 6 joist in nailed and a 12 inch or 1 foot by 1 foot footing and it's 18 inches gives us 6 inches sticking out of the ground and then 12 inches going into the dirt top view of it there. And of course here you can notice the oh, there's an overlap in the joist. There's an overhang. In this view here, it is going to be flush sitting on top of the beam. Just trying to provide you with a few different ideas. So this example here, the rim joist would attach to the top of the beam. Same footing. All of the footings in this video are going to be 12 by 12 and then 12 inches into the ground with a 4 inch or a 6 inch tall um, concrete base protruding from the top of the ground. So here we have a framed floor with a 4 by 8 beam and this is 12 foot by 10 foot I believe and again these I'm just throwing these out there doesn't mean you can use these sizes by the way now here we went ahead and put a larger beam in I made this four inches larger so we have a 4 by 10 I believe and this could actually be a 4 by 12 but uh, the same joicing pattern the rim joist is flush with the side of the beam Another view of it there. Now the only problem with building a foundation like this is the concrete pad would be sticking out. This wouldn't look very attractive. So you might not want to use this method. You want, might want to go back to the other method where the beam is in a little farther and then you could uh, put some type of... Uh, I mean you could just finish it to the bottom of the beam of course, your siding and uh, instead of having the concrete protrude out. So again, I'm trying to throw out a few different ideas and examples for you, but at the same time, trying to give you a heads up on something that could happen. And again, this is a very, uh, this is a detail that a lot of people don't pay attention to until it's time to finish the exterior with siding or stucco and you go, oh my God, a thing sticking out that doesn't look very good. Another view of it there. Go ahead and take a look at another foundation here. Now here's another example. And this is the point I was trying to make to the person in the who sent me the question originally. And that would be that you could simply use a smaller beam. You could use a 4x8 and then you could simply install more concrete footings. So here we have three equally spaced footings and over here we have four. So you could actually use a smaller beam and more footings if that's going to be enough for your snow load for the roof. I wanted to throw one more example out there. The floor can actually be built with joist hangers, a 16 inch on center joist. And so here we have the larger beam with the without any footings in the center. And then I went ahead and installed a 4 by 6 um, beam here with an inverted hanger. Take a look, a closer look at the inverted hanger. The flanged hangers you, you can nail on, the, on a surface on each side. You can see it here. This you're going to be able to nail to as long as you've got an inch and a half sticking past. This one here you're not. You're going to need some uh, different type of hanger. And this would be a hanger that is called an inverted hanger. Works great for these situations. But if you're not going to install a beam at the edge of it, um, a single joist probably won't be enough. 
Um, to support the weight of a wall, you're going to need some something a little stronger. You might want to install a double joist. So a double joist might work or a beam might work. And again, you can use hangers. You can set the joist on top of the beams. And of course, you can use more footings to make your building your shed building foundation a little stronger. So anyway, I hope it helps and I hope it answers the individual's question. And don't forget if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment area or email me any of your video ideas. If there's a video out there that has not been made, I would like to be the first one to make it. So send me your ideas and uh, I will see what I can do.